Hello my lovely little pandas and welcome back to my YouTube and IGTV. So I actually have, oh my god I brought it on the other side of the room. Um, so I actually have two pieces I want to review for you guys today. It was ultimately going to be one um, top by Gata that I wanted to do. Um, however I thought oh let me just like add something else to it and make it like a full outfit minus the shoes because you know we're on a nice carpet here my mum will kill me. Um, and I decided to add in some stockings as well. Let me just go get it. I can't believe I did that. Normally I would like leave it on the table and I just completely forgot. Instead I've left my hosiery gloves on the table. Anyway, so the top I wanted to do today was the Gatta Bodywear Camisole Top. As you guys can see here. I'm making sure it's in the frame. And this is in size small and in the colour Scarlet. It's this colour right here and it's like a neon, like, oh my gosh. And just some of the back description on it, it's a camisole seamless shirt with thin straps. Thanks to a combination of polyamide and elastane, the shirt perfectly adheres to the body, emphasising the shape of the body. And it's 97, no, sorry, 93% polyamide, 7% elastane, and that's pretty much it. Obviously, I'll drop all the spec and everything. Um... And the description that's the back make sure that you guys can see that anyway so getting into it it's basically neon i'm still trying to debate whether this is a pink or an orange or a bit of something it literally it shades quite different so this is how it comes really nicely packed in its own plastic packaging And, okay, this is more orange. We'll go with orange here. Even though it could be shading something completely different in the camera, to me, it's looking orange. So this is what we're working with. It's literally just the most simplest cami top going. Um, one thing I like about Gata is they never have labels popping out anywhere, so you kind of don't know what's front and what's back, if I'm honest. There's literally, oh, no, 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 I know back now, okay. Because their label is basically, it's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. But their label is basically just printed on. So that's the back of the back of the top. So like this. But to be fair, you couldn't tell any difference because it's not like the front is either higher or lower um, than the back or anything. You probably just know because of the underarm bit just here. Anyway, so it's very sort of straight, not really shaped to the body or anything. Um, really elasticated so it's nice it will fit quite well um really cool spaghetti straps they're even elasticated as well so it's not like they'll be tugging at your shoulders and yeah that's what that's what i'm working with and so that'll that'll be the top and then the stockings i'm going to be doing are a i would say a vintage pair because this is charnas have you ever known charnas packaging to look like this I never have, and I've worn a lot of Charnos. So I'm pretty excited about this pair. So this is the Luxury 15 Denier Stockings, also known as Fay Clouds. It's in the colour Mist, so also size 2, which fits foot 9.5 to 11. And these are also made in the United Kingdom, which is awesome. And 100% nylon. They're seam-free, smooth-knit, tailored heel, no seam underfoot. And this is what it says at the so this is what I'm also working with today. Now one thing I like about this is basically it's like a slip-in design. So it just literally slips right out. And that's something that I really, really like. It's something different. And that's what it's looking like. It looks quite thick here. I'm not going to let it looks quite, uh, definitely looks vintage. I'm just going to say vintage. But really lovely folded on a card and obviously you can see here the reinforced toe and heel which I like already this is is well this is going to be a you know what I'm not gonna lie a lot of you might be like oh it looks like granny stockings and you know what it kind of feels like it too it's soft don't get me wrong but the texture to it it is very old school I will say let's say old school or vintage. They're the two words of the day. Old school and vintage. So as you can see here, it's literally just the one stocking band. Um, 
slightly elasticated, not too much. Uh, but obviously that way is, that's actually quite nicely elasticated there. So these might not be 100% nylon. Now thinking about it, if they've got that much elasticity to it. Same again with the legs, very elasticated, which means I can probably put this a lot higher up on my thigh than having it midway, because I know some stop midway. Otherwise, they're looking really good. So let me start with the top first, and then I will get the stockings on. Bear with, loves. So the top is on. How bright do I look? I swear to God, you'll see me coming down the road. That is for sure. However, I do really like this for like a spring summer kind of look, or if you're on holiday. Um, in the terms of you'll never lose me, I will always be in sight. So I do like it. It's very bright. That's probably all I'm going to keep saying is it's very bright. Um, so as you can tell, it hugs the body really well to the point you can probably see the shape of my underwear underneath. So I do apologise, but uh, there's not much I can do there. I didn't have time to go and change that. Um, it is quite, th it's quite thick, but also quite thin in this. And I say quite thin in the sense of just see how it like, you can make the shape out of everything. You don't really get that with thicker type of uh, material. So I'm going to say thin in that sense. However, it does feel thick, but very, very comfortable. This actually ends here on me. Obviously, I'm not going to show it because, you know, why would I? Um, but it does end here and it really, it does shape quite well. It's not something that exactly goes like that with your body. It is very just straight. Um, but obviously, because I like to tuck my tops in, um, it, it'll work well for me, to be fair, because with my skirts, with jeans, trousers, whatever, it'll just work. Um, one thing I really do like, obviously, is the straps. It's I've got plenty of room with them. They're not tugging or anything, so I'm happy. And overall, I'm bright and bold. Anyway. I'm going to move on to the stocking. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do some with gloves on. Do some. I mean, do one leg with gloves on. Making no sense. I apologise. Just to, um, because I like to show people the fact that because I, because I'm so used to wearing hosiery on a daily basis, you have that kind of, you, you know you know how to get it on easily and well without snagging it you know you you take that extra care whereas I know a lot of people who don't and they're like oh I'll snag my hosiery while I was getting it on you know like this that and whatever and it's a bit like okay you just probably need to invest in some gloves if your nails are the problem or whatever you need to invest in some gloves so I've got some really nice satin ones so what I'm going to do is my usual scrunch and roll. I'm just going to follow the um, the way that they folded it all the way down because it makes it easier than just to get to the to the heel and the toe quite easily. I will sit down for this part because I've realised I can't redo this standing. So already. Not sure if you can see there, but already I've got a more of a browner tone on my legs. And I won't even say it's like a tan or anything. It's not tan. It's just a browner look on the legs. I will clasp it. I just can't clasp it with these gloves on because my fingers go all over the place. So that's one with gloves on. And like, like I said, just take care. If you're not used to it, and especially with um, a hoser that is 100% nylon and stuff, all you need to do is just take care. So what I'm going to do is, remember when I said um, this could probably sit higher? This can't. I can't tug it up any more than this. So this is what I would like to call between mid and high thigh. So mid thigh would be sitting about there. High thigh, where I normally have it, is about here. And we're just in the mid range. So I've got an eight clasp suspender belt um, to wear with this pair probably because because I'm going away um, I've packed my six clasp one in and I don't want to get it back out so I decided just to use the eight instead the one thing I do like about an eight suspender clasp is yes it is hard work having to clasp it this that and whatever I totally understand but you know what like especially with really nice hosiery it 
it looks it looks good it actually like i really prefer it i realize i've clasped this one a bit too over that way so oops and obviously for you know video purposes and for my own you know respect and stuff i'm not gonna show you the back i will but just obviously you know my skirt's held up and all that and once again easily done if you're going to do it without gloves just gently do it make sure your nails are smooth make sure your nails aren't too long um just so they don't obviously catch on and voila it's easy enough done oh, i'm gonna try and do this standing without hopping everywhere hey and just obviously just take your time rolling up as well you don't want to rush that in any way I feel this one's sitting a little bit higher than the other one, you know? Oh no, tell a lie, they're both the same. They're both the same. I'm just going to face this way a little bit, guys. Apologies, apologies. I feel like I'm going to be exposing too much here. Right, I'll be clustering this one a little bit better, so this will be the leg that will be more on show here because I've done it so well compared to the other one. But I'm not sure, obviously, if you can just tell here, compared to my normal skin colour and the stockings, how different the colour is. Do you know what I mean? It's I've, I've all of a sudden gone browner, but it's not like a tan brown. It's it's just more of a browner shade. Where's the, oh my god, I've lost a clasp. Oh no, I've got it. It's like proper tucked behind. Right, there we go. So our outfit complete. <laughs> So I'm going for like a complete summer vibe because it's a really nice day outside today and um, yeah, we're going with it. So obviously I've showed you the top, works really, really well. Now let me show you guys the stockings close up. You're going to have to bear with me if I wobble here, I'm doing this freestanding because I haven't got a seat near me at the moment to like sit on. So, oh my god. Right, there we go. So, as you can see here, the toes are reinforced, lovely little toe cap front and back, and really good reinforced heels as well. Literally just the most smallest patch, which I quite like. The, okay, hold on, let me try and lean on, lean on the cabinet so I can show you guys a bit better. But obviously, um, as I mentioned, the colour is slightly darker than my normal tone. Um, so, it's... I'm still figuring out whether I like it or not. Obviously, the bands are a completely darker um, denier compared to the rest, but obviously matches the toes and the heels. It fits really well, so there's no gapping or anything, which I quite like. Not a bad feel on the legs. Um, feel slightly rough. They're not exactly totally silky smooth. Um, it does feel slightly grainy, but... I'll roll with it. Okay, and I just want to check if it actually has a shine to them. God, see how, like, literally, you're just going to see me coming in this top, honestly. Like, this is like a high-vis jacket, but in top form. Anyway, so I don't actually feel these are shiny. They might have a slight shimmer to them, but they're not full-on. But actually, do you know what? The colour looks a lot, lot nicer now with the with the flash on. I have to say. So, oh my god, seriously, this is hurting my legs now, guys. But yeah, it's not a... Let me turn the flash back off. But yeah, not a bad colour, actually, with the flash on. Um, but it's not like I'm going to have the flash on my legs all day. Unless I'm in the sun, then it'll be a different matter. But yeah, no, otherwise, they're not a bad pair. How did the packaging go? Yeah, they're not a bad pair. I do believe, yes, they are like 15... I would say 15 to 20, Danielle. More on the 20 denier side, actually, because 15 can still be quite light on the legs, and I do feel um, this gives a bit more coverage than a 15 denier would. So I do quite like it, but yeah, the, the colour's okay. Quality is obviously really, really good. Um, didn't snag these or anything. Fit really, really well. There's no gapping or anything, so I would really like that. Um, the bands fit really well. Obviously, you know, they stretch out to make sure they're um, covering your thighs well and not like squeezing them or anything but yeah i like it i like the top as well literally i doubt i'll be wearing this top like a lot 
and I feel like this is something I would definitely wear on holiday. But um, yeah, I'm glad I gave this a go. It's obviously, it's a really comfortable top, I have to say. It is obviously very breathable. Like, it, I can't see myself sweating in something like this. Um, but yeah, it, it's a really nice material and it's actually really good quality as well. I've tried some of their um, body wear before and their active wear. I absolutely love it. It's, it's so good. So yeah, if you can try and get this maybe in a black or a white or a different colour, yeah, it would be awesome. Unless you really like this, then by all means you can take it off my hands. But yeah, I do like it. Overall, I'm, I'm feeling this outfit. I just need some really bright orange shoes to go with it now and well, Anyway guys, take care. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And um, I will see you all next time.